hello friends welcome to this uh, tutorial it's been a while i uploaded video on this particular channel i've been away where i went to study for bridge engineering for my master's program so i've been doing a design so i want to sh quickly show you how to cut cross section through your slab so this is uh, orion cs18 i'm using so i'm going to launch my program if you're new to this channel please subscribe and also check out our previous videos on this channel to be able to follow up all our tutorial series that we have been doing so it's coming up it's both in sorry program program is coming up so run tutorial is booting so this is an interface so here we are so program is up let's wait for our, our design to boot so our design is booting so the software is a particular software that is good for design of rc structure so this is the design that i've been doing so quickly i'm going to click ok to launch this particular design that i've been doing so i've cut my section through this particular slab so this is the slab it's just a story building so these are the um, rebars that i've put in them so i'm going to click ok because it's asking for general settings so i'm going to click cancel because i don't want to do general settings so let me scroll down a little bit and let me zoom in to show you what i meant so i'm going to pan so this is what i meant i want to be showing you so now if you look through a design you will see these are the rebars the way they are being arranged at what 25 this is the bar size the bar mark the bar spacing at some point you are going to be seeing another figure at this point, maybe 2x which indicates that this you have to put double mat of this so but now we are not going to be doing that so these are the axes to the section was caught this is the dimensions and this is the section a to a and all of that now if you rover on this place you're going to be seeing my section sign so it tells you this particular section if i click on it this is or if i delete this this will be affected also so this is where i cut my section through horizontally but now i'm going to be cutting one vertically so you can be able to see and also do yes the axis are very clumsy but the axis is going the section is going to follow through which part the beams run so just to do that i'm going to go over to this my section icon if you rover on it you're going to be seeing it so this is my section icon i'm going to click on it it's going to pop out the property section menu bar so this is it so we have general settings so the previous one i did was section a to a so if i'm doing another one even though you just leave it like it, it's going to be B to B. This is the labeling of the section. And if you zoom, if I zoom here, this is the label section A to A. That is what is being read. So these settings don't do anything to them. Don't check this. Also, just leave that now. This indicates is it show axis in section. So if you don't check this, the axis of this A, A channel of that is not going to show. Then if you don't check this also, the dimension is not going to show, which is, this is my dimension is 5.02 meters. It depends on the particular unit you're using in your country or in your design. Me, I'm using millimeters as default. So that is why it's giving me this value for using inches or feet. Uh, you have to convert it to that and you also have to read this dimension in that particular unit so this is checked this is uh, show steel bars now these are the steel bars this lines with black circles and straight lines so if i uncheck these and click update all of it disappears so it then means if you don't check this on your particular panel on your particular section properties it's not going to to show up and this is the main reason for this particular tutorial so i'm going to click on that and click update all of them reappear so all of it reappears so i'm going to 
I'm going to also now let, let's go into the tutorial. Um, to do that, let me click. Since our section is still um, active, so I'm going to click at this far end because I want to take my section to this end. So I'm going to cut through right from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to click. Now you see, as I click, there is an orange dot which indicate my starting point. So unless I move my mouse, there is a dotted rubber band line of, of blue in color that is following me. So that is pointing towards where my plus cursor is. So now to do this, you have to hold down the right click button of your mouse. You have to hold it down. Now move it gently downwards. Move it gently downwards. Let me move it away so you can see the next place I'm going to click and try and see if it is straight. Then I'm going to release. Let me do that again. So I'm going to go click, pull, make sure it's straight. Then I'm going to release. So release. Then I'm going to come away from my particular drawing space. Just give some space. And I'm going to click outwards. So we have a section B to B. This is it right here. B to B. This is a rebus. We see a rebus already here. So we have the section went through the address. Now, if you look at it, you will be wondering if it's supposed to show all the axes. It's not going to show all the axes. It's going to be going to show the axes that has beam that went through the beam where the section cut through the beam. So now this section two, this part of my slab is a cantilever. So the axis axis one may not show. So two, there is a beam here. You can see let me zoom in so there is a beam here so this beam is going to show here it's going to show here applicable to this and also applicable to this and also that of 10 is showing now at this part it's it's just like an entrance porch so there is no slab it's open it's a double volume so that is why this particular axis 15 14 13 and also it's not showing so this is my axis sign and this is how you cut section through your slab in order to enable those who want to do the rear bar work to know how the slabs are the rebars are going to be placed inside the the slab so this is all of it guys Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like my tutorial. See you in the next tutorial.